Hello everyone, this is Mike. I wanted to introduce you to my latest toy and if anyone has been following me lately, you know I'm a big fan of Chromebooks, but I'm a big fan of Chromebooks that are able to install Windows 10. The one thing I do like about Chromebooks is the lightweight and the uh, thinness. And uh, the Chromebook I have here was considered pretty special had a lot of nice reviews some years back this is the Chromebook 73 uh, Dell Chromebook 7310 now this particular Chromebook has some pretty nice features uh, it's got a very sturdy build it's said to be I know I like the design It's said to be a, made of a uh, Magnesium or alloy that's very, very strong, very sturdy. The design is very sleek and not blocky. It's quite quiet. And I will say the first thing you're going to notice, as I said before, it is running Windows. And you see my Windows, uh, familiar Windows 10 dashboard there. And... I'm running Chrome and I just wanted to show you despite having a Celeron processor it's actually quite quite good let me open up so I open up a uh, web page for you the web pages once they're loaded uh, pop right in I don't think you're gonna have any trouble with uh, web pages uh, like I said, 4 gigs of RAM seems to run pretty well. And I'll be honest with you, the, the battery life seems to be the same on this as it was with Chrome OS. Uh, this laptop has exceptional battery life, whether you are using it for um, on Chrome or Windows. I, however, have Windows on it. Next year, this particular laptop is going to be uh, lose Google's official support it it did have the android store on it and i was able to uh, check that out but i can get far more software through windows and a more complete uh operating system and i can even i know many of you guys don't do it but i can still burn i can burn cds on here now through external uh cd rom burner or i can use rufus to make uh, Linux bootable flash drives something that's a lot more difficult with uh, a Chromebook and other various things you can't do with a Chromebook that you can with a Windows now I have to admit well why don't I just go out and get a Windows well I happen to like this laptop uh, I happen to, to like the way that you can put a small M.2 SSD in these uh, Although Google is, doesn't officially support them, uh, they make excellent Windows or Linux laptops besides running Chrome. Uh, I had already uh, briefly had uh, running this on Ubuntu through a flash drive live, and it seems to run that really well. So I can hats off to that as well. So as I know, some people like to uh, make Linux uh, computers out of these or even run Linux through Chrome OS um, anyway I just wanted to show you how well some of the systems work the mouse pad works quite well let's see if I can show you there my trackpad is complete and of course being a Chromebook we don't have function keys but you can download through Coolstar by the way hats off to, hats off to coolstar.org org because they allow us to do these things with Intel only so far, uh, I, I, I guess ARM will be eventually, but so far, Intel-based uh, Chromebooks is what you're going to be using. Anyway, I, I just wanted to say I am very satisfied with the way this thing runs Windows. And if you want to know how to do it, um, oh yeah, let me show you. I did put a 128 gig hard drive in this one. I think I showed you my last one. Had a 128 giga, gigabyte hard drive. I did the same with this one, and you can see 
Um, this one, this particular laptop did come with a, a 16 gig, gigabyte hard drive SSD, which um, you really can't uh, install Windows on. I have done it before, but you can't run anything. You can't install anything. And the first update is going to say you don't have enough room. So uh, please, you really should have at least 32 gigs hard drive um, and or MMC. Uh, MMC, I probably recommend 32 to uh, it may be 64. But uh, anyway, this is just a brief synopsis, a uh, brief uh, review of my new toy Chromebook turned into a Windows laptop. Anyway, everyone have a good night. We'll see you later.